soulful. Okay, so I just, oh, before I get into this, I just want to say I went uh, this morning to my YouTube dashboard and I saw that I have 3,000 subscribers. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all of you that are here watching the Fire Sun videos, watching Aries, watching all of them, whoever, whatever, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much for following me, and I'm going to be saying thank you for the rest of the week for everybody that has put me at 3K, all right? I'm maybe doing something a little extra at the end of the week here to say thank you for everybody, an extra video, so... Thank you, Aries, if you are a sub. And if you're new, hi, welcome to my channel where I do tarot readings and talk shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I give advice, I do, okay? All right, so that's over with. Let's go ahead and just do this reading. I don't want to wait any longer, okay? Hmm. I doubt you do either, Aries. All right, let's see. What is going on for Aries today? I haven't been saying my disclaimer, you know, this will work for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, blah, blah, blah. I haven't been saying it because I think a lot of you that have, you know, been watching tarot readings already know, you know, what that's all about. And if you don't, well, this will work for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. If you find that it does not work, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, oh man okay Aries what does do, what does Aries need to hear today what is going on in the world of beautiful fiery Aries this one five of cups in reverse hmm Swords in reverse. Wow, this is amazing, Aries. Hierophant. Okay, Aries, so I feel that, um, wow, in your energy, not only are you letting go of certain cycle, you're letting go of a cycle, okay, something, a, a mental cycle, a psychological cycle, something that has had you feeling very sad, very disappointed here in the past you are letting go and here with the hierophant in your energy okay so i feel you are dedicating to yourself right now dedicating to either your studies uh you may be spiritual you may be a leader in some way or another whatever it is that you're doing right now keep doing it because this energy is teaching you commitment to your own growth and your own self prosperity okay it's showing you um a new side of yourself, I feel, Aries. This is a new side of yourself. And you're really, you're really definitely letting go of a cycle here. I feel this energy, a release here. Um, mental, uh, you, you have realized, Aries, that you are the person that frees yourself from sadness, from disappointment, that it is all about your state of mind and how you're going to go about it. Okay, and now we have a very grounded energy here. You feel you're probably feeling more grounded than you ever have before. All right, Aries, that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get more of a message here for you. Tell me about the Five of Cups in reverse. You may be releasing a relationship as well that made you feel ungrounded, and now you are committed to your your liberation from these emotions. That's awesome. This is a message for Aries. That is awesome. Okay. All right. We have Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. Yes, here in this past energy, okay, you are definitely having a lot of a lot of trouble. I think that you are dealing with either a relationship or situation, okay, whatever the energy in the past here really had you just, mm, you were feeling like it was not equal, okay, it was causing you distress, it was causing you to have sleep problems even, and maybe you were just feeling really upset and angry here with the King of Wands in reverse about the situation. You may have also been feeling kind of just fed up, you know, this is disappointing me, there's just it's not equal. I'm not 
feeling uh, an energy that it, you may have even been breadcrumbed by someone, okay? But what I do feel more than anything that is important here for you, Aries, is to understand, right, that um, you're, you're leaving this energy behind of grief and disappointment, these emotions, these emotions that I feel were holding you back. And now, okay, you're, because of this, you are now releasing a mental suffering kind of cycle you were going through. Tell me more. When we, uh, I feel this is definitely a need for you to step into your own power, Aries, here with these, with this King of Wands, okay? You're, you're, you're definitely trying to do that now. And that's good. Yes, we have Page of Pentacles. You. So I feel you were you were trying to work with someone. You were trying to get something to go uh, in a way that was favorable for both of you. Um, you may have been presenting a new way of looking at something with this person. I feel as though you were working hard on a relationship. Heck, this could be a job. This could be a family member. It doesn't really matter. Okay, just take what resonates with you, all right? You were working on something where the other person was not as invested emotionally as you were. And so this left you feeling kind of like drained, okay? This not only did it make you feel drained, but it also made you feel like you were the only one who was really putting into it. You know, the effort you were putting in was making you feel as though you were just kind of probably waiting. You were waiting for this other person to jump on board in the same manner as you, right? And so this probably created a lot of dissatisfaction. It created a lot of feelings around like, you know, is this what I want? Is this person good enough for me? Am I good enough for them? Is there, is this really going to work out? Are we going to be able to get on the same page here? And I feel that this has caught, had caused you in the past a lot of discomfort, okay? And you may have even gone to links where you were trying to get, you know, the situation to work out by controlling it even. You may have even tried to control the situation and, and work it in your favor or, or in the favor for this other person. But I feel that this was causing you way too much stress. So now you're releasing that. You're releasing that. Okay. And as you let go, as you let go of this suffering that you've been in, um, you know, you start becoming more committed to your own happiness and your own desires. All right, Aries. Tell me more. Oop, too many. We'll take this one. Okay, Ten of Swords, Judgment, and this one, Five of Swords. Just taking what fell. It was a lot, but I'm taking it. Yep, okay. So letting go of the disappointment is so vital right now for you. We got Five of Cups twice here on the board in the reverse. No more sadness. Okay, Aries, no more uh, putting effort uh, into pain. And I feel it was a process. This is a painful process right now for you because you may be letting go of someone that was very important to you that, that you had emotion for, possibly a water sign. But what's happening here is judgment, okay? And then we have five of swords in reverse, like surrendering. Um, this, was a, this was a call that had to be made. You know, I feel maybe you were waiting for a long time for something to give. And now it just basically, it, it gave. Okay, it gave. Sorry, I hit my tripod. It gave. The situation caved. And you became more committed to yourself and your satisfaction. And the cycle came to an end. And here come the trumpets, right? It is time to surrender this situation. I feel you were dealing with a person that w was not, or a situation, okay, here with a five of swords in reverse, that was not fair, okay? You were dealing with an energy that you were putting in to this and not getting much in return. So what was happening was you were being pushed and now you were being pushed, Aries, to actually choose yourself, okay? And choose to no longer sit around in disappointment and be committed to becoming grounded within yourself, 
Because the more grounded that you get here with the Hierophant energy and learning about yourself, maybe even learning about your own path in life, the more grounded you get, the more you release situations like this. Okay? So let's go a little deeper and then we'll get you some Oracle cards. Tell me about the... Oof, too many, too many. That's like 10 cards. We, we, we don't want that many. Tell me about this past energy source for Aries. Tell me about this past energy. Yeah, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Okay, look at this. Five of Pentacles in reverse twice. I feel it is so important here, the message coming through Aries, that you understand what it means in your future relationships to actually get an equal give and take to have someone to share with you the same fight that you're in, the same battles, the same uh, mindset, okay? And not even just like, like your mindset, even investing in one another emotionally, investing in one another on the same page. You know, you may be drawing in now a certain situation that has you having to do this having to share, get, to, to stop being up at night, worrying about if it's ever going to be equal. Now you are being pushed. And I believe asked by source here, what is Aries equal? What is, what are you not going to take anymore? Are you going to let people take from you as you constantly give to them? Or are you going to take back for yourself and, and then give to you and yada, 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 you know, equal, is there going to be a balance? between you and the, the uh, new situation or new person or new job, whatever it is that the scenario is for you, right? This is very important because we've got double confirmation. So tell me about the um, current energies of release. Tell me about the current energies of releasing. No more breadcrumbs, okay? And I feel a lot of you are taking this into account right now. We've got Empress and Page of Wands. So the current energy I feel for you, yes, 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 Aries, taking care of yourself here with the Empress energy, giving yourself the space to appreciate your home, appreciate who you are and, and love yourself, maybe taking care of family, taking care of your home life, whatever it is you're doing, to really get yourself stable and feeling compassionate enough for you and the situation, all right? And I feel if you continue to do this here with the Page of Wands, it's, it's a connection to a, a message. It's a message you're sending out. And that message is, I care about myself, okay? And I care about where I go next. You are embodying Empress Energy, and when that happens, when, when the Empress is in a reading, it is more often than not telling me as a reader, you know, how I read, that you care about yourself. You care about the beauty of what you can grow. Okay, you're, you're drawing in your nature, drawing in, sorry, drawing on nature, drawing in a, a natural capacity to heal and be independent at the same time, Aries. And that's wonderful. Tell me about judgment. Ten of pentacles in reverse. The situation that, okay, the situation as it was happening in the past, it was unstable. Okay, it may have been unstable financially with the job. It may have been unstable emotionally. However, this situation calls for it, okay? Okay. That is the reason why now you have to release all this, why you're letting go of all this now, okay? Because the judgment was made. The energy could no longer be sustaining. It couldn't sustain a full 10 of pentacles, a full financial situation, a full stability, okay? It was unstable, there was something about it that was upsetting your home life, which is why we have you in the Empress, in your earth energy now. You're trying to gather back those pentacles, create more of something for yourself so that you can be fully in a state where you're equal, give and take. All right? And that's wonderful. Look what we have here. 
Eight of Swords, right? We have Eight of Swords here. Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. Judgment. There was too much suffering. So if you're if you're hurting right now because you've had to let go of something, Aries, if you're hurting, this is only temporary because I feel that the more grounded you get and the more committed you get to something better, right? And you let it in and you let in something better for yourself. Mm. You've integrated something, okay? All right, so let's get you a lover's oracle and then, or no, actually, let's do moonology first. Let's get you some advice. So what else does the universe have to say for Aries today? What else for Aries? Don't let pride get in your way. Show the world the real you. Yes. Okay. Empress energy. You. Some of you may be, you know, being watched or looked at or, <laughs> you know, do like, don't let, don't let pride get in your way. You know, sometimes when we release something that was unhealthy for us, we can get a little bit, you know, powerful. We start feeling powerful. So allow yourself to remain humble despite the situation. Okay. And continue being your real authentic self. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yes, the energy of staying within a grounded space is a goal for you right now. And understanding that I think what's happening here, someone may be coming in. Um, I have a vibe here, especially with the Page of Wands, that someone may be coming in that you can communicate this with, that has the same interests, the same... of. Uh, um, uh, uh, wants as you so that you can have equality for once in a relationship. All right, Aries. So now we'll pull a lover's card. Keep going. Keep going. Release that pain. Okay. Release that pain. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. <laughs> yeah, Aries. So that's what I got here for you today. And I feel you're going places. Keep on letting go of situations that are, um, you know, not not equal or at least on a, on, a, on a footing that you can, you don't feel this 10 of swords all the time and the five of cups, you know, needing to release sadness, sadness and, and, and upset and regret and whatever it is that you're releasing. Okay. All right. That was for you. I'll see you guys later. Feel free. Oh yeah. Feel free to book me down below. If you want a reading done by me, a personal one more tuned to your energies and um, you can do that via Fiverr or email. Again, it's all in the description box below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Bye.